and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Just finished the movie The Gift. Okay, The Gift is just a susp suspenseful film, and I'm just going to go straight on into the story. Um, it's like my 14th take trying to do this because my camera is crapping up. So uh, Simon and his wife are moving into moving to LA because apparently something happened in Chicago. It seems like they they miscarried a child or it, it something happened. They were trying to get pregnant and something happened. It seems like they they hint at her wife uh, the wife kind of running into a problem and they're trying to shop for a house. I immediately judge the family that they're asking for trouble when they're buying a completely glass house. Because it starts out with a basically trying to purchase a house and it's nothing but windows everywhere. Completely open. It's just like, no, you already are welcoming creeps to come in and spy on you if that's the case. So I was like, already I don't like this guy. Already I don't like this family. If that's the, the way they want it, especially if you want to have kids, no, you don't get an open glass house like that. It's just, just no. So it's just like already I was like, no, no. And then they go out shopping for the house and apparently Simon runs into an old high school classmate uh, by the name Gordo. And I ended up seeing the trailer beforehand, so I ended up already knowing where it was leading, but they tried to make it out to where Gordo's this creep who's giving gifts to them, trying to be polite, trying to be, oh, like one of those people, and I, I know a few, I, I still don't know his name, it was either Greg or Craig or something along those lines. He, he never said it was either, I just, it's something there. But it's just like one of those people who tries to be overly friendly and it's just like, dude, no, why? But apparently there was a, pa uh, a history from the past where yeah, Gordo was scarred by something that happened. He, he was considered a weirdo. A lot of things seemed to happen. And you, you start, like me, I started to feel sorry for Gordo. Gordo seemed to be like, okay, I can relate to you, man. I, I like you. I like you. you you're my friend. I, I get where you're coming from. I liked Gordo. So they, they, they make out Simon. And that's the thing I liked about it is Simon as the movie progresses, turns out to be more and more the bully, turns out to be more and more the one you didn't suspect. Of course, if you saw the trailer, you knew this was all gonna happen. But I, I like the like the flow of it, because Simon turns out to be like the real bad guy. You know, well, I, I the, the movie throws you for a loop at the very end, because it's just like, I like Gordo, I like Gordo, and then they show you this thing that kind of hints at something else, and I'm like, no, no, Gordo wouldn't do something like that. He's too too nice of a guy, too nice of a guy. There's no way he'd do that. He's just trying to mislead him. He's just trying to mislead him. The, the, I, I swear, because there is no way Gordo would do something like that. He's too nice of a guy. And if he did, I, I cause that's the thing. I, I have been watching movies where they get me to like a guy who is not a good guy. And I'm, I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't do that to me. Don't make me like a character who's Mm. Okay, so I'm I'm believing he didn't. He just hinted at it to drive Simon crazy. To make him go like, oh, it's all in the eyes. All you need to know is look at the kid's eyes and you'll be able to tell. Because, I mean, yeah. It's, I, I, don't, I don't think I'd be able to see my eyes and my, my child. Because I'm pretty sure they'd steal a while. Like, they'd look completely like the missus. I'm pretty sure that'd be the case in my, my situation. They'd probably just get my height. I'm pretty sure that's it. That's how I'd know. I'd, I'd have to find out when they're fully grown. But yeah, it, it was just like, no, Gordo, no, don't, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. And then he, he does a line. It was just like, it, at the very end, it's just like, it's all in the eyes. Maybe I did do it. Maybe I didn't. I'm like, okay, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He's just, he's just bullying now. He's just turning it all around because it, it is an interesting story. I did actually enjoy it through and through because it's just like, oh, Oh, so literally one lie that Simon told destroyed Gordo's life. And Simon just refused to take responsibility, refused to apologize. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Definitely worth a watch, I assume. I don't know, maybe you'll enjoy it a bit more, maybe less because I basically told you everything that happens. Hopefully you watched the movie before watching this. Uh, I probably should just say spoilers at the beginning of everything. Oh well. 
Uh, too late for uh, uh, too late for that. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.